Bryophyta, which means that bryophytes are very uh, having found variously and they are found in moist and damp places. Then we have seen the reproduction, how male and gam uh, male gamete and female gametes are formed and how they fuses together and how they form the zygote. We have all studied yesterday's class. Now we will see today what is the classification of bryophytes. Means the bryophytes are divided into basically two main groups. One is what? Hepatocopsida and other is what? Bryopsida. The hepatocopsida is given such name because of the presence of liver shaped gametophyte jo hepatocopsida hota hai yani ki hepatocopsida ke organisms uh, unka jo gametophyte hai that is in the liver kind of shape to isliye usko naam diya gaya hepatocopsida aur mostly hepatocopsida includes what liver words and the examples can be examples here can be rishia and marchensia and corella okay and their body is what we have studied earlier also thyroid body structure will be found for these three rishia marchensia and porella and this porella is leaf like which is found on on the dry rocks leaf like structure hota hai this porella and the thyroid body is having what root like stem like and leaf like structure okay and this bryopsida it contains mosses it includes what mosses so we will see the hepatocopsida that which means liver shaped cell or we will study the liver words okay so can anyone tell me about any characteristic of liver words what are the, uh, those like from here we will start the liver words so these liver words are having body structure we will study their body structure and their habitat and next their reproduction so first body structure their body is thyroid body is thyroid and they are found where found in moist and damp places now i have already drawn the pictures just to make it easy okay so this is uh, this one is what dorsal view and this one is of ventral view ventral view of what rishia uh, this one is the figure of rishia so rishia is having two sides side by side if we see this dorsal view they have both the male and female sex organ within the same plant means they don't have to move anywhere for the fusion they are having their sex organ or the same view means ek hi plant mein female and male mm -hmm. dono sex organ mil jayega theek hai and in their ventral view we can see the rhizoids so which is, is little bit what root like is rested it is what root like and rhizoids they are so, helpful in attaching to the substratum okay if these rhizoids are not present, then they will not be able to attach to the substratum. That is why this rhizoid root like structure are helpful for what attachment to the substratum. And these uh, ventral view also contains some scales. Scales means what uh, uh, it will be like velvet like structure. These scales will be uh, like velvet. Okay, velvety structure will be there. So this one is a whole body structure of liver uh, rishia, which is having longitudinal groove in it. And in those longitudinal groove, only male and female gametes are found. And these six organs contains what? Male and female gametophyte in it. Now, if we see the structure of Marchensia, the structure of both rishia and Marchensia is very important because it always asks in NCR uh, NEET exams. Okay, This and this figure has been asked many times. And this one is what like Rishia mein kya hai? Ek hi plant body ke dono side mein male and female mil jayenge. Lekin Marchensia mein kya difference hai? Marchensia is having male thallus and female thallus. It is having separate uh, plant and separate organism for different sex organ. See, kaise difference create karenge? The one stalk which bears the anthridiophore. Us stalk ko naam de diya gaya kya? And uh, sorry. The one which bears archegoniophore means the female wali hai. So, uska ye kya hai? Long hai. Long hairy structure is there. And is basis pe kya ho gaya? Ye female thallus ho gaya. Female thallus. And the one which is having the stalk, which is having the male gamete here. Male gamete. This stalk will be what? Male thallus. Means this thallus will be called as male thallus. So, is me kya hai? Do different sex distinction dik raha hai. Jis pe male um, and thridium milega, uspe kya hai? That will be called as male thallus. And this may uh, archigonia milega, that will be called as female thallus. Okay? Let me write once again very clearly. So, this one A, where it is gamma cup and archigonia 4, this one is female one. Okay? This one is female thallus. And this one is male thallus. And now, this 
longitudinal groove is present and this torque which bears the stock bearing the archegonium or is stock ke paas kya ye see this structure this structure they have long hairy their structures are long and hairy long and hairy like and here the anterior fold it one is what anterior fold is the stock bearing and thredio fold so ye kya hai this one is is small and clustered so these two structure of martensia we have to remember because sometimes in exams what happens uh, this labeling is asked like it will give here the blank structure and rg104 will be uh, will erased and you have to find out in the given option what is gamma cup where is rhizoids and you have to label all the things okay so you have to keep this figure in mind and their labeling also and this one is the figure of uh, funeria funeria okay few Area where for seat and capsule division we can be seen, and this one is sphagnum. See, this one is what more or less little advanced, little bit advanced because of slow decomposition. So this is all about liver works, and again the process of fusion, like means the process of sexual reproduction will be <coughs> will be same. They will. Uh, the male gamete will go towards the female gamete and fuse and will form the zygote yesterday's class we have seen how the process of fusion occurs so this liver works will follow the same process of fusion and the male and female gamete will join together after the secretion releases from removal of the collar cell of female gamete okay now we will see the marchensi uh, mosses how okay first we will see the reproduction okay. first we will see the reproduction just give me a minute okay phone oh, arrange mariya ko हेलो हेलो वॉइस ऑडिबल हेलो एम आई ऑडिबल सना फायका ओके सो वे आर वी वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट द रिप्रोडक्शन ओके सो रिप्रोडक्शन इन लिवर बर्ड हाउ दिस रिप्रोडक्शन अकर्स दे ऑल्सो फॉलो द सेम प्रोसेस ए सेक्शुअल मेथड एंड सेक्शुअल मेथड ए सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन and sexual reproduction now famously we know that asexual reproduction is done by process of fragmentation and sexual reproduction is done by the same process as they fuse and form zygote so first we will see asexual one asexual reproduction okay so this asexual reproduction occurs by the process of fragmentation and how fragmentation occurs basically fragmentation is what falling of some part from the main plant body and जो फॉल ऑफ पार्ट है दैट विल फॉर्म द होल न्यू ऑर्गेनिज्म ओके सो दिस इज द होल प्रोसेस ऑफ फ्रेगमेंटेशन सो फॉर फ्रेगमेंटेशन द लीवर वर्ड्स हैव स्पेशलाइज्ड सेल और बर्ड सेल एज वी हैव सीन इन द फिगर दिस लीवर वर्ड्स हैव स्पेशलाइज्ड सेल दीस सेल्स आर कॉल्ड गेमा कप्स सो हियर आल्सो फ्रॉम द गेमा कप्स मींस द गेमा कप्स आर समवट लाइक दिस एंड दे आर हैविंग अ स्टॉक फॉर देम एंड दिस दीस टू आर व्हाट गेमा and yahi gamma kya karte hain these gamma will uh, the part of these gamma will fall on any surface and they will grow into a new plant so this one is what is stalk and this gamma is what gamma cup now if we will see in the figure also so here see this one is what a green structure this one is what cup and inside this gamma cup gamma is formed okay and on the fragmentation of these gamma into any surface will result in formation of a new plant and this uh, will result in the process of uh, asexual reproduction or fragmentation so they are having what specialized cells specialized uh, buds or cells which specialized cells mostly kahan present hote hain marchensia mein okay present in marchensia एंड मार्केशिया में ही क्या पाया जाता है गेमा कप्स पाया जाते हैं कंटेन्स दिस मार्केशिया कंटेन्स गेमा कप और वी कैन से राइट गेमा ओके एंड ओनली दिस गेमा विल फॉल ऑन सरफेस फॉल ऑन एनी सरफेस एंड देन इट विल रिजल्ट इन व्हाट रिजल्ट इन न्यू प्लान फॉर्मेशन नाउ this process is a method or yeah, this method is for a asexual method now we will see what is the sexual method of their reproduction sexual reproduction which follows the same method male and female gamete will come close and then they fuse together and then form zygote okay just give me 2 minutes okay so where were we about 
sexual reproduction. The process of sexual reproduction will be the same. They will follow the general pattern. They will write follow the general pattern. And what is the general pattern? Sana, can you tell me what is the general pattern for any kind of reproduction? Means any kind of sexual reproduction. Just now we have explained fusion and fertilization. Hmm. Means male and female gamete will come close together and they will fuse and they will form zygote, free zygote, secret embryo, and then a uh, whole new organism will develop. So, this is whole normal general pattern of sexual reproduction. So, here male gamete will fuse with what? Female gamete fuses with female gamete, and male gamete is what? Biflagellated, biflagellated anthrozoid, and fuses with the female gamete, which is egg, and then they will form what? Zygote. This I got will be what two n and here they will fuse this male gamete will move through what chemotaxis method chemotaxis ke through iska movement hoga and after that zygote formation what will happen embryo formation will occur this embryo will be two n also then embryo will form sporophyte as we have seen yesterday's class sporophyte and then this sporophyte will form spores through sporic meiosis spores through what Sporic meiosis, sporic meiosis, and here to and say, yeah, and I get okay. And sporic meiosis, these spores will do what? These spores will germinate and germinate to form new liver words, yeah, new body, new body of plants. So now this is the sexual reproduction which follow the normal general rule. Yeah, we can see there is structure like. Capsule, we have studied the capsule uh, structure somewhat like this. They have spores in them and they have these spores. Uh, some spores grow big, which will form a spore mother cell. And this spore mother cell then will form a spores. Yeah, these spore mother cell spores. Sorry, spore This spore mother cell will form spores and then spores will germinate. Spores when some kind of elators are present here, which enables in spore dispersal. So, when these letters open up and close up, hongi, to they will help in what? Helps in spore dispersal. Over several places. And when these spore disperse, hoga, new plant organism will form. So, this is all about the liver words. And now we will see the mosses. Actually, the whole process is same. Just like mosses are what? Little bit advanced one. They are little bit advanced in the sense what? That their sporophyte is not completely dependent like the parasite. This sporophyte is capable of its own nutrition. Okay, so we will see mosses. Mosses. So mosses ka dominant stage hai gametophyte as we have studied dominancy to rahega, lekin utna nahi rahega. So mosses have dominant stage gametophyte jo ki n hai, but not fully dominant. Okay, and then they will consist of two type of protonema in them, and these protonema. Uh, will be what uh, means they are having two kind of stages one will be protonema stage another will be what leafy stage this is we are talking about what their sexual process because the body will, of mosses will be same containing foot seca and capsule and we straight away move towards the what sexual process of reproduction whatever we are leaving here we will cover it too through the slides okay so dominant stage is what again gametophyte which is not fully dominant and it will cover in two stages one is protonema stage and another is leafy stage or gametophytic stage so two is stage here one is protonema another one is leafy stage the leafy stage is also called as gametophytic stage gametophytic stage so <coughs> we will see each one side by side this leafy stage is filamentous this leafy stage is what filamentous they are having multicellular means they are multicellular they are green and photosynthetic they are also creeping and they are branched creeping hai. they are branched and this protonema is also what developed from spores because <coughs> the spores hai, they will form the protonema formation also so they are developed from spores and this stage therefore will be this stage okay we just Young protonema is just forming, so this will be called as primary protonema. Okay, and now leafy stage it develops from secondary protonema, develops from secondary protonema, and this leafy stage will be at the sex organs because now this protonema has grown and fully mature, and therefore they will contain the male and female sex organ. So they will be a 
sex organs and this sex organ will contain uh, where they will be found at the tip at the tip and we will be one is male another is female this male will form antherozoid and female will form the egg antherozoid and here egg also this leafy stage contains slender axis and which are spirally arranged leaves okay spirally arranged leaves are found here okay so this is all about mosses structure and how these are formed now we will see their whole structure from the zygote how they are formed so this one is what a young spore a young spore and this young spore will grow and form a structure like this this will again contain collar cells in them and this here will uh, contain the buds yahan se root like leaf like ke stem like structure grow hona shuru hote hain and here from the down side they will contain rhizoids and these rhizoids uh, they spores this one whole structure this one is called as protonema primary protonema okay and this primary protonema will form secondary protonema now this secondary protonema is what leafy stage or gametophytic stage gametophytic stage okay this gametophytic stage or gameto uh, contain what gametophore here they will contain gametophore gametophore means male and female gamete gametophore now how their gametophytes will be found like what are their structures and what are uh, how they will form so their structure will look like this this gametophyte and they will contain scales around them like huh? this oh, and these scales will only what uh, the whole body is stem like and then these scales are what look like ठीक है एंड देन डाउन साइड देर विल बी सम राइस ऑयल ओके एंड ये क्या है प्रोटोनिमा का स्ट्रक्चर है दिस प्रोटोनिमा स्ट्रक्चर विल ग्रो ये प्राइमरी प्रोटोनिमा है जूम आउट प्राइमरी प्रोटोनिमा एंड दिस राइस ऑयल सॉरी दिस प्राइमरी प्रोटोनिमा विल कंटिन्यू एंड फॉर्म ए स्ट्रक्चर लाइक दिस हैविंग देयर ब्रांच एंड स्पोरोफाइट दिस ब्रांच स्पोरोफाइट विल फॉर्म हियर ब्रांच स्पोरोफाइट ब्रांच sporophyte will be formed here and uh, again the whole structure rhizoids is scales which will stem like and root like so this one is the whole figure of the mosses and their lifestyle and here i will also write some few points the sporophytic yeah sporophyte of moss as i have earlier also told ki sporophyte of moss is not fully dependent on gametophyte it is what partially dependent on gametophyte and they have this sporophytic stage which is more complex and elaborate than the liverworts because they are a little bit more advanced one liverworts are very uh, lower version uh, lower forms of bryophytes and mosses are higher forms of the bryophytes so mosses are higher forms of bryophytes and their sporophyte is not fully not fully matlab partially partially depend on gametophyte they are advanced than liverworts so these are the few points that you have to remember in leo birds and mosses all together uh, which will come uh, mostly in the exams and i have covered only the main important point and rest we will cover from the slide okay from here we will see those features which we have in covered here okay so the bryophytes are classified into two groups which are uh, leo birds which grow usually in moist and shady places and banks of the streams marshy ground damp soils their thallus is what the plant body of liver wort is thalloid against that example marsh uh, marcantia see their body is what thalloid like a structure now the thallus is dorsi ventral and closely attached to the substrate dorsi ventral means dorsal view bhi hai this one is dorsal and this one is ventral so dorsal view bhi hai and ventral view bhi hai or both the dorsal and ventral view are related to and attached to the substratum okay now again uh, the thallus is dorsi ventral and already attached to the substratum the leafy members have tiny leaf appendages in two rows on the stem like structures 
See, next is what rhizoids. How are their rhizoids? Their rhizoids are unicellular, and these may be of two types: insubliverous rhizoids, uh, rhizoids with the smooth wall and tuberculate. ओके सो डाइजोइड्स का दो टाइप भी है कौन कौन सा किसी में स्मूथ है किसी में नॉन स्मूथ है मींस दैट इज ट्यूबरकुलेटेड हाउ रिप्रोडक्शन अगर आई हैव एक्सप्लेन कि वही अगेन मेल एंड फीमेल कम क्लोज टुगेदर एंड फॉर्म जाइगोट इन द सेक्सुअल मेथड एंड एसेक्सुअल में दे अकर्स बाय प्रोसेस ऑफ फ्रैगमेंटेशन सो दिस एसेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन अकर्स बाय फ्रैगमेंटेशन ऑफ थैली और बाय फॉर्मेशन ऑफ स्पेशलाइज्ड स्ट्रक्चर व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज गेमा दिस गेमा कप्स आर व्हाट ग्रीन मल्टीसेलुलर एसेक्सुअल बर्ड्स whenever these gamma cups are falling on the substratum they will uh, form and they are capable of forming a new plant so develop into small receptacles called gamma cups located on thalli the gamma become detached from the parent plant body and germinate to form new individuals okay now sexual reproduction it is accomplished by the formation of male and female sex organs either on the same plant same plant kahan pe hai rishia mein same kahan pe milte hai rishia mein and different kahan pe milenge same plant will found in रिशिया एंड डिफरेंट विल बी फाउंड इन मार्क एंड शिया डिफरेंट वेयर मार्क एंड शिया मार्क एंड शिया ओके नाउ अनदर वन इज वॉट डिफरेंट है स्पोरोफाइट डेवलप फ्रॉम जाइवॉट विच कंटिन्यूसोफाइट विच डेवलप फ्रॉम वॉट जाइवॉट एंड इट कंटिन्यूज टू ग्रो ऑन गैमिटोफाइट It is then differentiated into what फोर सी टैन कैप्सूल आफ्टर मेओसी दोर्स आर प्रोड्यूस विद इन द कैप्सूल and finally the spores will germinate to form free living gametophytes iske kon kon se example hain rishia markensia pelia and corella you have to remember that three which rishia one markensia one and corella these three examples are important and this pelia one is not that much important now mosses mosses are the group of bryopsida and this group of bryopsida they grow on dense mat they grow like what dense mat like a structure and found moist and shady places especially during the rainy season some mosses grow in desert bogs and streams also so how are their plant body their plant body is predominant is uh, predominant stage of life cycle of a moss is gametophyte phase predominant mein hi gametophyte kya hai dominance zyada hai and post means ki jab wo secondary protonema formation karta hai to usme gametophyte kya rehta fully dependent nahi reh jata sorry gametophyte fully dominant nahi reh jata now okay which consists of two stages the stage is protonema stage develops naturally from the spore and it is creeping green branch and frequently filamentous second stage is leafy stage which is developed from secondary protonema as the lateral bud now they consist of upright slender bearing spirally arranged leaves means ye upright bhi hai spirally arranged leaves bhi hain and they are developing uh, developed by uh, the process of what this gametophyte and protonema formation which is the leafy stage now how are their rhizoids rhizoids are long and multicellular and branched structure with oblique septa they take part in fixation of absorption fixation like we have seen here see these are what long and branched like structure these are rhizoids and they are having long and branched like structure in them now they may take part in fixation and absorption kyunki wahan real root structure to present nahi hai so these rhizoids only take part in what absorption of water and however surface condition to capillary is important mechanism but yahan pe jab wo ट्रैकेट्स का पूरा सिस्टम ही नहीं प्रेजेंट है व्हेन द ब्रायोफाइटा इज ए ट्रैकियोफाइट सो ओनली राइजोइड्स आर प्रेजेंट व्हिच आर कैपेबल ऑफ एब्जॉर्बशन ऑफ वाटर एंड नो अदर देन नो बॉडी आर प्रेजेंट अदर देन द राइजोइड्स नाउ रिप्रोडक्शन दिस कैन अकर बोथ बाय वेजिटेटिव एंड सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन हियर शुड बी रिटन हियर शुड बी सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन ओके जस्ट मेक करेक्शन वेजिटेटिव एंड सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन नाउ वेजिटेटिव रिप्रोडक्शन अकर्स बाय अगेन फ्रैगमेंटेशन एंड बर्डिंग एंड सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन एंथ्रीडिया एंड आर्चिगोनिया फीमेल विल प्रेजेंट एंड दे विल फ्यूज टुगेदर एंड दे विल फॉर्म Uh, zygote and the zygote then develops into sporophyte which consists of forsyta and capsule jiske andar kya rehta hai spores rehta hai next is sporophyte sporophyte in mosses is more elaborate than in liverworts kyun kyunki inka dependency dheere dheere kam hone lagta hai gametophyte se it derives its nutrients from gametophyte for its development they are formed after meiosis in sporophyte the mosses have elaborate mechanism of spore dispersal isme tumhe example yaad rakhna hai funeria uh, okay all three because all three are important some there or the other they have economic importance in them so this much is today for okay difference is remaining so now we will see the difference what are the difference because usually if we talk about differences differences are good subjective type questions which usually ask in our day to daily exams means half yearly and monthly exams okay so what are the difference liverworts are non vascular plants consisting of leaf like lobes or stem 
देर ऑल्सो नॉन वेस्कुलर बट यहाँ पे क्या हो रहा है लीफी स्टेम प्रिवेंट है रीजन ऑफ लीफी स्टेम क्या हो रहा है शो हो रहा है मॉसेज में जिसमें और राइजोइस भी क्या हो रहा है ब्रांच और यूनिसेलुलर है और क्या है मल्टी सेलुलर भी है जिसकी वजह से ऑब्जॉर्शन ऑफ वाटर और अच्छे से हो रहा है ठीक है सो ये हाईली मीन्स ये क्या हो गया थोड़ा और एडवांस हो गया ये क्या हो गया एडवांस वन एडवांस एडवांस वन हो गया ये कम एडवांस मीन्स नॉट दैट मच एडवांस या नॉट एडवांस ओके नाउ इट बिलोंग्स टू डिविजन मार्केशियोफाइटा इट बिलोंग्स टू डिविजन ब्रायोफाइटा सी हिपेटोकॉक्सीडाइज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड इज मार्केशियोफाइटा बिकॉज द मेजर प्लांट विच वी स्टडी इन लिवर वर्स इज अबाउट मार्केशिया सो द गैमेटोफाइट इज अलस और फोलियोज थैलस लाइक स्ट्रक्चर प्रेजेंट है लेकिन यहाँ पे फिट और फिर फोलियोज लाइक स्ट्रक्चर प्रेजेंट है विच इज फर्दर क्या मोर्स इलेबोरेट डॉर्सी वेंट्रल और रेडियल व्यू इज प्रेजेंट ओनली रेडियल व्यू इज प्रेजेंट हेयर देन लिवर वर्स राइजोइस आर यूनिसेलर यहाँ पे मल्टी सेलर है प्रूली सेलुलर मीन्स वॉट मल्टी सेलुलर ओनली मल्टी सेल्युलर एंड हियर राइजोइस विल बी यूनिसेलुलर प्रोटोनिमा रिड्यूस वन लेकिन यहाँ पे प्रोमिनियंट प्रोटोनिमा मिल रहा है प्राइमरी और सेकेंडरी के साथ ठीक फिर लीफ लाइक स्ट्रक्चर आर अरेज इन टू और थ्री रोज इन फ्लैट एंड पैटर्न है लीफ लाइक स्पायरल और वर्ल्ड पैटर्न मीन्स स्पायरल और वर्ल्ड पैटर्न मतलब इट इन फ्लावर लाइक सो दिस मच इज टूडे फॉर ब्रायोफाइटा वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड another division which is bryophyta and in our next class we will start the pteridophytes do you have any doubt in today's lecture python and i climb is